Hey everybody, it's Tim from Full Spectrum Laser. Today, we'll be walking you through how to do a focus test on your Muse Open Galvo system. Our machines are calibrated during our QC process before they're sold, but as with most machines with moving parts, these calibrations can come out of acceptable tolerances over time. But we're going to walk you through our Galvo focus test. First things first, make sure your machine is on. Next, you'll want to connect to your software. Once you're in RE3, you'll want to go to the Galvo Fiber tab, down to Diagnostics, and select Galvo Calibration. This will open a new tab in which we can access our machine's diagnostics page. You'll want to scroll down slightly to the Laser Focus and Lens Calibration section. This is where we'll input the settings for our focus test. The machine we're using currently is a 20 watt laser, so the default speed will work for our needs. In this case, it's 500 millimeters per second. For power, we'll want to keep that between 15 and 20 percent. The increment is the distance the laser head moves up after each square. You'll see what I mean when we fire it. For this test, one millimeter is fine. After our settings are inserted, we'll want to select our lens. For this video, Walker and I are using a 163mm lens. Now before we fire our test, we're going to autofocus the laser. Unless the calibration is way off, this will get us in the ballpark of where our focus is. Once it's autofocused, we'll go ahead and fire our focus test. We used a black metal business card for our test. They're super good for testing designs and honing your focus. Once the test is done, we're going to use our microscope to look at the results. If you don't have a microscope, a simple magnifying glass will work just as well. Each square is the same design, but every time it makes one, the laser head moves up by our increment setting. In this case, that was one millimeter. We're looking for the clearest one. If you look towards the middle, you'll see the solid square starts to turn into a squiggly line. We're looking for the one with the most detail. It looks like D4 has the most detail as we can see more of the black between each squiggle. It's a subtle difference, but as long as we're close, we'll get a good result. Once we have our square, we'll go back to our diagnostics page and scroll down to the Galvo resolution slash power section test. This should be right under the previous section. There should be a drop down menu that says A1 by default. Here, we'll input the square we chose, D4. Once we have D4 selected, we'll click Focus Job Result. The laser head will move to the appropriate Z height, and the diagnostics page will give you a focus offset. In this case, it's 3.13 millimeters. Now we'll head back into RE3, add an autofocus point, and enter our new offset. Now when we run our job, we know it'll be perfectly in focus. I hope this walkthrough helped you get your focus dialed in just right. If you have any questions, post them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep making.